I want to give you a lowdown on exactly how I built the tank body, the robotic tank body, in order to work properly with these two motors. And if I hide this component, you can see the two motors are inside here. And there will soon be some screws that hold them here to this plate. Now I can open up the motor on its own. And as you can see, I created a sketch here. And this sketch, which happens to be created on this face, um, has given me the locations of these four holes, which are the threaded holes. And it's also given me the locations of um, these holes, which are helpful to know if I want to use them. Now, the other thing that I did was I took some measurements and I wrote them down just on a piece of paper, went to inspect, clicked on this face, clicked on this face. I wrote down 0 0.08, 0 0.018, and I used this dimension as well as the dimension here of this diameter in order to figure out uh, my parameters for the tank body. So I'm going to uh, quickly scroll to the beginning um, in order to show you how this is built. So for those um, that uh, may have seen uh, some of the other videos on the intro, I started off with just a sketch, this exact sketch, and this was fully defined. And so um, from here, um, and what I can do is I can even just edit the sketch just to show you what it looks like with dimensions. I just set a, a bunch of dimensions here. Um, there's one big circle with a nice diameter. The, the height of this is measured. Uh, this was very important, the, the angle that this comes out at, angle of attack for the tank. And the distance is between these two uh, points. And because the sketch is all in black, you know it's fully defined. And then from there, I just did an extrusion in two directions. So you can see that two directions. And then from here, I shelled it and I selected all of these faces going around. If you hold down control, you can see the faces that I selected, they show up. And from here, I had to make a couple more sketches. So you can see here, I made a sketch on this face. And that sketch has the shape on that motor that we saw, that sort of D shape, and then the four points. And I created um, another sketch here, which is right at the center of this big circle. And there's also a third sketch, and the third sketch is for the um, plastic piece that fits around all of this. So I'm going to show you what that looks like here. Um, first, there's the hole. There are the holes. There's the D-shape hole, and then there's um, the hole here for the screws. Same thing on the other side. I did some extrusions here for the cuts. I could even just um, hide some of these sketches. I know it's a little bit confusing. And then from there, I just did yet another extrusion for the uh, cutout shape I was talking about. This is what it looks like. Remember how we saw this sketch here? It turns into this kind of box shape that gives this strength. And then from there, um, I did a nice extrusion here to hold the bottom of the motors. And I did the same box shape on the other side. And then I created a plane that goes uh, directly in the middle of this D shape. So I basically selected this face here and this face here in order to create that plane. And then I created the four holes using the sketch. And I created the four holes also on the other side. So now I have four nice flat head uh, screw holes using the hole wizard. And from there I created my first 
rib and I arrayed that rib and then I went and did a mirror to mirror those ribs to the other side. That being said, I was now prepared to create four squares in, in all of the corners and to do an extrusion. And those four squares all have holes in them. The extrusions have holes. And from there, um, as you can see, this is a very sharp edge, very sharp edge, which is unrealistic for the motor holder. So I just kind of cut that down. And from here, um, I, at this point, I did a new component. And I did a new component basically um, that way my first extrusion that I made here, I basically um, made sure that this was um, within the new component. That way my cover was going to be separated from the orange uh, base part. So the thing I did after that was I just kind of looked at this from the side and I, I took a sketch here that kind of fit around where I knew the motors were going to go and I made sure to check this diameter to make sure the motors would fit inside and that there wouldn't be interference. So I kind of just extruded that from the mid plane just like I did the other part. And then from there I did a bunch of, um, of fillets and chamfers and all that. That's really not that important. Those are just little details. And from here I made a plane And that plane was used to create some cutouts for the camera, um, which I'll, I'll show. So basically, um, let me hide the other body. You can see inside here, um, I made a plane right here, and then I made an extrude cut. And then from there, I made um, another extrude cut for the wiring, uh, it, this is really just a simple recess for wiring and it's from the same uh, plane. And the thing that I did from there was I realized that my camera is has a flat surface that's gonna butt up on here. And so I just um, made this big extrusion and then I, from what I did was I just made a new sketch here on the side, on this uh, plane right here, the side plane. And then I just, um, I projected these two lines. You just click on the two lines and then you hit P on the keyboard and it projects them. And then what you can do is you can just draw a box around where your extrusion is and it'll cut that extrusion away. So now I got a nice uh, perfect surface there. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, uh, just ask me in the comments. I'll clarify that because it, it can be a little bit uh, confusing. I know I'm going a little fast. Anyway, um, here are the, these two. Um, basically, the, these are going to be little screw holes. And those screw holes are to hold a little laser module in here. And then from... And now, now let's zoom out a little bit. Now I'm just creating these... Um, these dowels with an extrusion. I just did an extrusion right on his face. And then I used the whole feature to make some flathead screw cutouts. And then I did a nice, champ, a nice uh, fillet on them. I made a new plane. And I used that new plane to make this little tab. See that? It's basically just a little extrusion. But what I did was I built up that tab and I did another extrusion coming out perpendicular to it. And I threw a, a chamfer on there and then I threw another um, draft on there and then another couple of fillets. And as you can see, that created these two ribs. And so that's, that's basically how I built it. And I can kind of show you a sneak peek of the camera module. If I unhide um, this piece right here, I'm going to go down and 
find my little uh, camera module. So now that I unhit it, you can see that's what the camera module looks like. I didn't show that before, but that's where I got the sketch from. The sketch that I used to create all these holes from, if you were wondering where I got it from, I got it from sizing up the component itself. And what I can do here to show you is I can do a nice little section analysis and just kind of grab an edge here. And we can look inside and you can see, see that camera module in there? That's the back of it. And then of course this is a front that sticks out. And those two little tabs I showed you, they actually are little plastic features that hold the camera down in place and they retain the camera and snap the camera in against this flat face. And all the camera and the and the um, infrared you know things and, and all these modules they stick out while the flat face stays right on on here. So um, that's that's basically it. That's how I built it. Thank you.